Hey guys, uh, just an update on uh, my Space Wolf armies and also want to take better video of my Bretonian stuff. So um, I'll just show you what I have done so far and uh, I got a long way to go, man. Um, but here we go. Now, um, here's this Wolf Guard Terminators. Um, they're all in Terminator suits. And um, this one here is uh, built to be, you know, to represent Arjek. Um, I didn't like the anvil on top that I ended up doing. I guess, you know, the wolf kind of looked cool, but it looked a little too big uh, for the Terminator on top. Um, maybe something, I'll try to change it out or something. Use one of the hammers from uh, the regular set of uh, wolf guard, I'm sorry, of uh, space wolves uh, from the pack uh, set. Now, um, all the Terminator's arms do come off except the auto cannon, uh, but they're all magnetic ties, so I can change it whenever I want. Now the next one here we see is um, the auto cannon uh, space marine. Now this is a little different, of course, because the auto cannon I had to actually attach. It would have been a pain in the butt to do it magnetized, and it would probably always fall off if I played with it uh, magnetized. So I just went ahead and just made one, you know, Terminator space wolves uh, wolf guard here with an auto cannon, and I'll probably get more if I ever need more space marines. But uh, this one here right now sporting a power fist which of course can be just detached and put away. The color scheme on the blue here is a little lighter. That's what I was shooting for. Gray didn't work out very well because you know it was all too washed out, too monotone. So I wanted a little blue in there, but not too much blue. And this is the actual perfect shading of blue I wanted. And the next uh, uh, Terminators you see is the other three Terminators, uh, Wolf Guards, and you know, uh, with various different um, types of weapons. This one here has, you know, the flamer, but of course I'm not going to be running it with the flamer and auto cannon. I'm just going to pop his arm out and put up a bolter there, but I wanted uh, to show off the uh, Terminator with the uh, flamer on it. Uh, he's sporting a chain fist here. Um, the basing itself, I've actually based it with uh, the uh, aquarium sand I was talking about, the TD moon sand. Um, and then put some rocks around it and stuff like that. The snow is actually uh, baking soda, uh, which works out quite well, but it's a little fragile. It, it's going to rub off over time, but it'll still look like snow uh, no matter how much it would be rubbed off. I've uh, tested it out and stuff like that, so um, it looks pretty good. Uh, I like the way that it's based out with the snow and stuff like that. Uh, these terminators, like I said, uh, the arms do come off because it's magnetized and um, with all the various themes and stuff. It's a little tough trying to get the shading of the blue correct, but you know, after a while you you get the hang of it. Uh, so when I do the wolf pack and all the other space wolves, uh, it should be about that shade of color. Now, as I said, the arms come off. I can just pull them out, it's magnetized, and uh, change up the weapons whenever I need to. For example, here I changed up uh, the flamer for, uh, actually a wolf claw for a, fla for a bolter. And then uh, here I'm taking out the left arm of the uh, uh, wolf claw here, and then just sticking on what am I putting on here? A uh, power fist instead. So I could switch them around. Now the only problem I didn't like about the Terminator uh, set that came with the Wolf Wolfguard Terminator set is that the shoulder pads is the only problem. Now you only get five left shoulder pads, right? And then you get about a choice of eight sh right shoulder pads. So I was able to do uh, three extra weapons ready that I could switch out, you know, th sorry, three extra arms that I could switch out whenever I wanted to. Um, so I'm gonna have to buy some bits and buy, you know, um, Terminator uh, shoulder pads. Now here is the Space Wolves Dreadnought that I put together, uh, magnetized arms. Uh, so I can pull out and exchange the weaponry. And uh, right now all I have is the last gun for the right arm, which I will show you in a bit. Uh, same with the uh, basing there. Um, what I did was, you know, use, based it with the uh, Tahitian sand, some of the uh, other different size gravels. And then I uh, did the snow with um, uh, baking soda. And I did some weathering on the feet there, below there, make it a little more, you know, muddy. And uh, there you go. Here's me switching, you know, the last cannon out, uh, or in, in, and uh, did some chipping and some regular stuff you see at the uh, scale modeling that you know used to. I wolfed it out, put some pelt on it, you know, put the banner on top of it and stuff like that. And the last update I have 
is uh, Nigel Stormcaller, I believe it's Stormcaller. I don't have it in front of me, but uh, he's an HQ choice. And I th was saying, I was thinking about, hey, I could, you know, use him also as a Wolf Priest in Terminator armor, but he didn't have the right rep weapons. So what I went ahead is uh, I bought bits, and I'm gonna go and do a conversion of a, uh, a Wolf Guard. I'm sorry, a uh, Wolf Priest Terminator, and uh, I will go ahead and film that. Uh, in a bit but this one here is Nigel uh, really I love this model this is why I got him I'm not even quite sure I was going to use him at all but I really like this model this model is really nice now I know some of you guys already seen this stuff but I promise to make it better you know be the picture or video of it and here it is uh, this is some of the Bretonian stuff I did here's a standard bear uh, with the paladin on top of a horsey and uh, basing did with a you know larger gravel type of gravel stuff from uh, the aquarium stuff. Um, did the banner with airbrushing to make uh, you know the blending and stuff like that. Just did with an airbrush. Some of the barding you can't tell right now because there's design on it and stuff. But that was done with an airbrush. The cape, as you can tell, uh, it's a little some airbrush. It messed. I kind of marked it up a bit when I was painting it, so I had to try to blend it with you know you know just brush paint, but it didn't work out very well. The next thing I have here, the Pretonian, is the Pretonian Lord. He's on his horse. He's got a axe and a shield and stuff like that. Uh, spacing done with the medium-sized type of gravel again uh, from the aquarium stuff. And uh, yeah, it was fun. I decided a green paint scheme on him, uh, color a green color scheme on him, uh, just to make him stand out a little bit more in the field. Um, just did some designs of the barding and stuff freehand, so and used the decals, so it came out okay and uh, eh, nothing like major. And the last thing uh, you see here, which which I showed off before, was uh, the Pegasus uh, Knight, and this is the gallant Pegasus Knight, and uh, he's on a you know custom base I did out of styrofoam and. Uh, Hold the uh, uh, the vulture from Hero Clicks just to make the little looking statue thing there. Um, definitely, you know, I have to go back with the basing. I'm gonna have to put some uh, greeny green green stuff on it. You know, like uh, you know foliage or something. I have that. I just haven't done it yet. Use the blue color scheme on here, gold and blue type of thing. Make them look uh, you know more out you know standing out as the gallant, and uh, use this head uh, without a helmet. Uh, put a sword in his hand instead of a um, instead of a uh, lance, but he also he still has a lance. It's just not shown here. I might make it uh, hooked up to the horsey or something in the back of the saddle or something. That'd be kind of cool, right? Uh, I'll probably go back and do that later. Well, well thank you for watching. Um, been making more videos. I'm gonna get those you know out of box and all that stuff done after I composite a uh, new intro for the WG Consonium channel. So um, you, whenever I get off my lazy butt to do it, then uh, you know I'll put some more official type videos. But other than that, it's gonna be more vlogging stuff probably later on to give you more updates on my Bretonian uh, war machine and uh, Bretonian armies. Um, also, someone mentioned, aren't you going to get into Flames of War? Actually, yeah, I forgot to mention in the last video. I am going to get into Flames of War just later on. I want to get through the Warhammer stuff and the War Machine stuff first. But, uh, but I've been looking at some of the Flames of War stuff. It's really cool. I think uh, it's going to be really cool to get into. Uh, just hope maybe uh, Les would uh, like to play that, too. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so I'll check you guys out later. Subscribe and like the videos and all that stuff. Uh, give me some kudos, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.